Hello everyone, it is good to be with you today. Today we are going to continue with our journey through the Old Testament with the story about the parting of the Red Sea. But first, please join me in worshipping the Lord and sing the songs with me. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty his throne on high he humbled himself he came to live so he could die he was killed on the cross but he rose up from the grave death was defeated so wipe your tears away I'm gonna clap my hands shout Hosanna Jesus is risen on our own we needed him 
to come for our rescue. Our sin is a price that we could never pay. Jesus paid it all so we could be saved. I'm going to clap my hands and shout Hosanna. Jesus is risen and he lives forever. He took my sin and set me free. Jesus is alive. I Is the Son of God the sacrifice for sin? He is the risen King, and He's coming back again. Jesus is the Son of God. I believe the sacrifice for sin. Last week, our memory verse was Psalm 121, verse 4. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. Today, our memory verse is Psalm 121, verse 5a. The Lord himself watches over you. Please say it with me. Psalm 121, verse 5a. The Lord himself watches over you. Join me as we sing one more song. Christ, you 
you strengthens me. Word. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things. 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 The previous weeks, we learned that the Israelites had been slaves in Egypt for over 400 years. God wanted his people to move to the promised land, but Pharaoh refused to let God's people go. Last week, we learned how the Pharaoh of Egypt finally let the Israelites go. However, it was only after God sent 10 plagues on Egypt, and in the end, the Pharaoh's son was even killed. The Israelites obeyed God and left right away. They followed the Lord's instructions and ate the Passover meal in haste. The bread they made did not contain yeast and it's called unleavened bread. This type of bread is still used today by Jewish people to celebrate God's protection from that tenth plague. While they traveled, God went with them. God gave them a cloud by day to follow because it was very hot in the desert in the daytime and a flame by night so they could see because it was very dark out in the desert at night. Now our story finds the Israelites once again in a predicament. Many people thought it was a trap. The Pharaoh has changed his mind again. We read about this in Exodus 14 verse 19 to 31. Please watch this video with me to see what happened. When God's people left Egypt, they marched out into the desert. God did something very special to help them. He sent a tall cloud to guide them during the day. It was very dark in the desert at night, so God changed the cloud to fire. It was like a giant nightlight. Now God's people could travel, some during the day, and some at night. Back in Egypt, Pharaoh had changed his mind about letting God's people leave. He sent his army after the Israelites to bring them back. Closer and closer, the army of horses and chariots came. God's people stood right by the Red Sea. There was no way across the water. Pharaoh's soldiers were behind them, and the sea was in front of them. It looked as if they were trapped. Just then, God moved the tall cloud behind his people to hide them from the enemy. The Egyptians couldn't see anything. The cloud made it dark for them, but it gave light to God's people on the other side of the cloud. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea. All night, God pushed back the sea with a strong wind, and the water split to make a dry path to the other side. The Israelites safely reached the other side, but when the Egyptian army tried to use the same path, 
the water came back together and covered the soldiers. And that was the end of Pharaoh's army. Imagine that God caused the waters of the sea to separate. What can we learn from today's Bible story? God's power is revealed in so many ways. No one but God could part a sea. God also does many powerful things for us every day. He brings the sun up in the morning, he showers the earth with rain, and he makes the trees grow. He even created gravity to keep us from accidentally flying into outer space. This week, everyone should spend some time in prayer, thanking God for his mighty power. Let us pray. God, thank you for saving the Israelites. Thank you for showing us in big ways and in small ways that you are powerful. Remind us that when we feel afraid or confused, you protect us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are closing this lesson with one last song. Please sing with me.
now have time to do the activities that goes with this lesson. May God bless you. See you next week.